Ooh. Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day fifth of the March Lico Daddy Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Apparently, I've done this recently as well. At least we, it's been like a year and change. How long does it keep staying cash? Anyway, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's poem. I don't actually remember it that much, so hopefully it'll be good. Um, so I got a comment about looking at corners. It's where my water is, in case you're wondering. Uh, I've been trying to... I've been trying to be better about keeping myself hydrated, so definitely uh, my apologies if, uh, if I'm taking more water during this video. Because, uh, I don't know, we'll see how that goes. Mm. Uh, gotta drink more water, right? Bye. Today's part is 1345, jump game 4. Given an array of integers R, you are initially positioned at the first index of the array. Alright. In one step, you can jump from index i to index i plus 1, i minus 1, okay, fine, or j for which or it is the same. Okay. Um, I think this one is actually kind of interesting, uh, and I actually know the trick to this. Oh, not the trick. I mean, the, I think the basic is... Uh, let, me, uh, let me restart. Uh, I have done this like four times, so and I did kind of remember... Uh, there is a case that is actually very annoying, but I'm getting ahead of myself once again. So let's let's start from the beginning, right? So, um, how do I talk about this? Um, yeah. So basically, the idea about this is a breath first search, right? Um, and uh, you know, I mean, this is the shortest path problem. You're trying to get the minimum of step from the beginning to the end. So it's a breath first search all the way. However. The number of edges is the part that may be a little bit tricky if you're not careful. And what I mean by that is that, um, okay, so the ray length is 5 times 10 to the 4th, which is what, 50,000? Uh, yeah, 50,000, right? Um, but the tricky thing is that, what is an edge, right? An edge is a node or uh, uh, an index, and then you know going to the left or going to the right. So that's an index, right? Or sorry, that's a that's an edge with the rate of one. The third edge or the third edge type is the tricky one, where a a way of i or a way a way a way of index i is equal to a way of index j, right? So basically, it's saying that all the numbers are the same. The way I visualize it, um, and I probably did it on the other videos, is that I just, I just Think of this as a train, like you're going from, okay, so this train line is going from 100 to 100, 100, and 100, right? But the problem is that if you're not careful, then how many edges do we have? Well, if all the numbers are the same in the worst case, I mean, yeah, you could do some if statements, but even in that case, there could be sp tricky cases, like if all the numbers except for one number is the same or something, right? But in the lot worst case, um, you can have n edges, for or n minus one edges or something like this, but all of n edges for each of the n stops, if you will, or index, right? That means that there are n square edges in the worst case, and of course, uh, given the n is fifty thousand, that is going to be too slow if you're not careful, even in breath first search. But that said, one thing that <clears throat> I mean, there are a couple of ways you can implement this. And this is honestly um, just me thinking about it from experience, um, because I I don't I want it's it's hard for me to kind of be like oh if I didn't know this or if I don't remember it can I have like would I have come up with this this edge case right and honest or like think about it right um, I mean obviously or maybe not obviously but I hope so. <laughs> I hope that for me, like, I think eventually I've got in it, whether I get a wrong answer or not, before then is another story, right? Um, like, if I, I submit something, it gives me a time limit to exceed it. Even if there was a, you know, even if this is in lead code where they give you the test case, so they don't give you the test case. Given a time limit exceeded, there's really only a handful of ways that you can figure or that it could time limit exceed and then I could figure out that way, uh, mm -hmm. hopefully, right? But it's hard for me to say that without obviously like knowing what I know, right? That's part of the experience and that's part of the practice. Um, so yeah, so the observation though is that um, there, there are ways you can kind of think about this visually 
and model this, but instead of having one, one, um, instead of thinking one node for each index, what you can think about is that you connect all the, um, uh, all the, all the, all the array indexes that have the same number as one super node, right? So once you go there, maybe you have to do some math to do one more step to go to another sub, uh, part of that node, and then it, you're done with that node, right? Meaning that it it would never, because basically, and maybe this is a greedy uh, greedy argument, in that basically, for example, if you have this example one input, if you take the 100 train, as I like to call it, you take the 100 train, it never makes sense for you to say, get on at the 100 train, take like two stops, get on another train, get take that for like two stops and then come back on the 100 train, right? Because you can all, because it costs the same to stay at the same uh, line, um, you could just go, you would just skip to the head and skip all that stuff. So the argument there is that on the same number, you only go there once. So I think once we kind of put that all together, it should be okay. So let's do it. Otherwise, it's just breath first search, I think. So yeah, so language, you go away. Let's get started. Last index, right? So, yeah. So here we have say Q is equal to collections dot deck. Um, we can write an thing here. Um, I think a couple of ways we can think about it, but hmm. I don't know. All right, maybe I'll, I'll just leave this out for now. Um, yeah, and then maybe some kind of you know uh, best array or just like shortest right is you go to uh, infinity times uh, n. Yeah, infinity is just some big number. And then now we enqueue the first one. We enqueue index zero and best of zero is equal to zero. Just checking to make sure it is not one. Yeah, and then this is just uh, current is equal to Q dot pop left. And then maybe we... So then we, we do two things, right? One is in Q going to the left and in Q going to the right, right? So uh, yeah, so maybe for DX in uh, one negative one, or maybe just even if I'm lazy, plus one. Uh, my, let's just do it the other way, right? Um, if this is within bounds, then uh, and also it is not done yet, right? So best of um, current plus one is less than best of x appended, and then best of x is equal to best of current plus one, right? So that's basically just going left and right. This is pretty straightforward. Uh, or, you know, hopefully everyone got that so far. Also, to honestly, have some um, have some sinus issues. So I'm drinking a lot more words to hopefully thin that out a little bit. But mm, we'll see if that works. Anyway, um, and then the other one is um, the, the stops, right? Um, with the same number. You could handle it another way. I'm just going to handle it with a set. Right? So uh, if if um, a way, uh, yeah, a way of current, if this is not in done, then we add this number to done, and then we add all the, the other numbers that are in it, right? Um, and here we, <laughs> here I forgot, I didn't process it, so we, we probably should process it. Um, yeah. So, okay, so yeah, so maybe I just have a lookup thing. Uh, look up, look up. Right, and then for i in range of n, and then lookup of r sub i append i, right? Uh, probably should have done that first. I didn't really think about it that much. But yeah, and then now for x, uh, yeah, and look up sub uh, r of current. Um, I guess technically all of these, this will be true, but this part will not be true. So basically that's what we're doing here. 
if best of current plus one. And this is breadth search, so this is another way of saying that nothing has visited yet, really. And you can see why I maybe should have done a fun uh, did a function because this is some dry thing. Uh, yeah, and then at the very end, we I I don't think this can happen, but yeah. But otherwise, we just go if current is equal to n minus one, we return best of current. You can also do that earlier, but I, I don't think it matters that much. I mean, it's a constant thing. Let's give a quick submit. Hopefully, I didn't miss a silly case, and I did, huh? Did I miss something? How did this happen? <laughs> uh, too arrogant, I guess. Uh, all right. Oh, wow. How? I think I fixed this so that this is negative and this is plus, but I wrote the wrong thing. How did it even... I don't know how we passed three cases with that. What a silly typo. <laughs> uh, one of these things. Almost perfect. But, uh... Huh. Uh, 1069 day streak. Uh, this is just regular breath first search now then as long as we don't you know handle this case or we handle them all together and never again. Um, yeah, this is breath first search so it's gonna be linear time linear space and of course that means V plus e where mm, where the size of the input has an implicit graph so it's still linear in terms of o of v or o of n and in terms of space we do some lookup things so you can't really avoid it and also dp ish uh, on the breadth of search and maybe the q even right so yeah um hmm. that's all i have for this one let me know what you think if you're doing the contest later good luck stay good stay healthy to good mental health i'll see y'all later and take care bye bye